Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Coming live from Fiber Heart. Children of God, and that's you, and that's you. Oh, it's going to get pretty ugly tonight. I literally, it's, I'm at the point where I have to postpone watching uh, Pastor Hildebranton. Uh, Canada, I they may be a little bit works related, a little bit works related. Okay, that's a given. That's a given. So just to try to find out what I'm doing here, you guys, it's gonna get intense. So if you can't handle it, you need to get the fuck out of here now. And I know that that's against the religious people. But the thing is, is that free speech and stuff and free religion, everything is literally almost annihilated. So I don't know. I mean, me and God are just kind of doing this like clown show, I guess. So we're going to do this real quick and see how bad I am. I never played the violin. My husband is helping me figure this out. I don't even know if I have it on the right. See, when I play pool, I play left-handed. Um, when I bat or something baseball, I'm like both, you know what I mean? But they were trying to pound it out of me, uh, in my youth. And they also sterilized me. They sterilized me in my, uh, early twenties. So that just needs to be established because after my beautiful son, when I saw him, how he was just, he was, a, he was the most sweetest little rambunctious, just full of energy and uh, rambunctious, loving it, loving it. I was like, I got to have more. I got to have more. But I was in a situation to do so. But I was like, no, I got to have more of him. Boys, girls, whatever. Jumping out like monkeys on a bed, right? Monkeys jumping on a bed. I was like, no, if they're like him, he's perfect. <laughs> he's a perfect representation of free will. <laughs> like the, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to try to figure this out. Oh Lord. So this is left. It's all right. Mm -hmm. So it's like this. All right. All right. So we're going to see, Oh, 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 it's left. But see, I have left stuff. So we're going to see. All right. Is there, I don't even know where I'm supposed to do it. So this is our first time together, okay, on this. And Johnny, thank you. I love you so much. Johnny, you're my bestest friend in the world. Oh, the Lord is blessing you so much. Be gentle with the guitar. Excuse me, you have to be gentle. We already need a chair. Okay, sure. And you're closer. I think that before we get too off track with this first time, literally, this is the first time for me. I would never lie about this. But we're three minutes, and this is important. Because, um... Christ teaches on offenses! Now, for the most part, Jesus is actually pretty liberal. Now, I know most have just what I don't know what is going on! Now, this is what I do know right now. Is we need to settle down for just a minute. I tried to watch... Pastor Hildebrandt up in Almer, Ontario, Canada, a little later, because they're a little more works related. They talk about you, you're sinning, sinning, you may not go to heaven. Okay, listen. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ as your savior, you're going to hell. It's that simple. Outside of that, we have to work on all of our kinks and try to get fixed up. But some of us do not come from... Puritan, Mennonite, 
Amish roots of purity, okay? Some of us come from Satan's children. Now, this is five minutes in. We need to get this going on. Now, listen. This is for the children and all this sexuality bullshit being pushed. I could literally go through the roof right now. Oh, you think I'm kidding? Oh, no, 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 no. I am not kidding. And I can actually hear Jesus kind of giggling because he wants this house to get blown up. I mean, in like, mostly the ones that are after us are probably going to do that. But we've been, we be, we keep, you know, like, we, uh, we, it's like a military operation. It's like, take that down in here. Need to shut that down in here. We're like, how long was this house set up? Through the pedophiles in Monroe, Michigan running it. So this is the real quick script before it really goes off the rails here. Because it will! I will start screaming about a bunch of shit. Because I watched Hildebrand. He said something about the homosexual men and stuff. And that they, 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 they most of them, 70% of the homosexual men, have 20 to 100 partners a year! Oh, is that natural? People, we are in depopulation. That's through um truth stream. One word. S is lowercase. And then media. I, I don't even think they believe fully in God. I don't even know. I mean, most people don't. I mean, we're just going to figure out what we can do here. It's just going to be ugly. And I mean, folks... Now listen. Okay, so we're at Luke 17 chapter, verse 2. And I've done this before. And after I start to do these things, and John's going to say, be like, what did you do with that? No, he's not even like that. what God's going to do to you for exploiting all the children of the world. Oh Lord, thank you. Creator God, thank you for your creati creativity. We're at eight minutes of something that could get super powerful. I hope for you, Lord Creator in heaven. It's not about me. I don't give a flying fuck. You know I'd be living out in a tent or something somewhere and be fully content. <laughs> Oh, already? Before he get started, it were better for him or she that a millstone were hanged about his or her neck. And he or she cast into the sea. Then that he should offend one of these little ones. I mean, that's kind of that in a nutshell, isn't it? From Jesus Christ, our Savior. He gets ugly. 
it gets uglier than that, but let's just try to have a little improv fun real quick. Because I already broke a string, apparently. I think I spoke most of my piece tonight. New for me. Remember, this is the first time. This is the first time. We're going to try it this way. A little truth tonight, real quick. I told you it was going to be horrible. <clears throat> I know. What are we going to do now? Oh, well, it's 12 minutes in. Still working on. Huh? I have seen too much information. My conclusions. My conclusions recently. The Mafia on the cartels on the world. Oh, that's surprising. It's weird, though. They never really give me the memo from where I was raised. And I'm starting to realize it's mostly an in-state thing. In-state, but it's so ugly and multifaceted with the human trafficking and Child violations and pedal protection. That, um, somehow, me and my son got in the middle of the mix. Hey, Lebos! L.A., capital B-O. And how about the Drews? Capital D-R-E-U. How about all the judges? And most of the old judges. And a bunch of the county township workers. And, I mean, how many more do I need to list? The Leonards. Unfortunately, Mr. Leonard is dead, but Sean made up with him. That's weird. And, um, because I know about his child torture stuff. How much your wife? Where is she? 
Okay, and then everyone that was in the skating, the roller skating, where children were being, this was competitive roller skating, by the way. We wore dresses. Of, a bunch of people were being, uh, a bunch of children were being exploited. I had hotel events where we would be set up with couples, teenage, less than teenage, like almost barely in high school, not even middle school, prior, where we're set up, we're making out in hotel rooms. After the meets, after the skating meets or not, I have a bunch of more information to give you. And it's very demented and fucked up. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to repeat this video real quick of, oh my God, uh, Pastor Hildebrand, I love you. I'm afraid you guys don't love me. I get it. I get it. So we have Luke. Okay, Luke. Is that Luke 11? Jesus teaches on offenses. It's kind of a short one, isn't it? Jesus teaches on the second coming. This is all in chapter 17. Oh my gosh, this is not a joke. Listen, I told my husband, I said, that night with the feathers and the violin, it looked like I did something that looked a little bit whatever. And they're going to shut me down if I try to read this whole thing. I am sick and tired of this. I am sick and tired of all the perversion. The genocides, the depopulation. Don't have kids, have kids. Don't eat meat. Do you know all those doctors that come up in your feed and tell you to do eliminatory diets, meaning don't eat this, don't eat that. All these foods are real bad. Really? Because God created all those foods from the beginning for his humankind to eat. It doesn't mean eating them all the time. But these people that say, oh, don't eat this over here and don't eat that over there. What the fuck is going on? This is where I lose the cute little group up there, and I, I can't do it now. It's too long, and my phone is not charging right. Whew. I mean, I was so excited there, and I'm not even angry. I'm just excited. I need, we need it. We need to hear this. We need to hear the children to God. No. No! Everyone deceived! Everyone that is whatever! We can't do it in our own will! No! Jesus does it through us! This isn't works! Gosh dang it! This is not works! This is this Buddha thing where like, Oh, if someone wants to know God, they'll find him! They know where Jesus is! Do they? Because if I, had, if I had not had something like blaringly, obviously in my face, being raised by a narcissist, atheist, and another one that was a pedophile, and they're both, and you know, like, I would never have found Jesus if it wasn't seriously like screaming in my fucking face at 19. I could be like Joe Rogan fucking leading everyone to hell. Literally, this is not a joke right now. No, I'm being serious. I was taught religion was a commodity and anyone that was involved in it was just into money. And I can give you a whole... So we don't need to do that. It's 19 minutes. Okay. Christ teaches on offenses. <clears throat> Then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible but that offenses will come. But woe unto him through whom they come. Meaning it comes through the devils. It comes through the dark side. Okay? Woe to him because he's heaping hellfires on his head. Verse 2, it's red letters of verse 17. Thank you, Pastor Hildebrandt, for doing what you do. You don't know that you're even 
helping this be promoted or whatever. And um, I have to drink my lemonade and juice. This isn't, no. I can't say the other thing isn't over there, but listen. We are all have problems. Now listen. It's not going to post. Now my videos have gotten too long, but this is so serious, you guys. You don't understand. You're going to laugh. You have to be. You must read Luke 17. You need to read all of Luke. It's bad! And it's not getting better. You want a bunch of faggots and pedophiles running the world? You better fucking get your shit straight with God right now. I don't mean to be perfect. I mean, get your Bible out, listen to some truth preachers, and get your own phone out or your device and scream it out. That's all we have right now before it literally becomes like a serious thing. Like, we're literally having to defend ourselves. And say, okay, this is not funny. I can't do it. I can't do it all. It, it were better for him or her for a millstone were hanged about his neck and he cast into the sea than that he should offend one of these little ones. God's the little ones, those little innocent children. Now that's all I'm going to do here. I can go much further. Take heed! To yourselves, if thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him, and if he repent, forgive him. Better be a true one. Don't be tricked. And if he trespass again, these seven times in one day, and seven times in a day, tr turn again to thee, saying, I repent, O thou, forgive him. You can forgive, but you don't need to hang out. It's in here, too. It's not right in here, though. It's funny, isn't it? Seems like that might have been messed with. And I ain't gonna do this more. I love you old guys. And we must follow this word. I am not refuting that, but there's been so much that was removed or translated in a weird way. And I just, I don't want to do this no more. We can't. It's very clear in the last part. And God would have not said this. And then I gotta go. Because I can't I can't keep screaming like this. I mean, I just is I mean I can, I can. But um verse 20 of Revelation. Um 21. 20 of Revelation. He which testifieth these things. Saith, surely I come quickly. Amen. Wrong one. Hold on. All right, we're going to go back a little bit. All right. Verse 19. And if any man or woman shall take away, this is 19 of Revelation 21, away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part of it of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Yes, there were many things taken from this book. And it doesn't mean don't listen to the book. But we must understand. It's getting really bad. You better find Jesus Christ as your Savior right now. Get out of this stalking program. If you're gay or half gay, I mean, when I mean half gay, like, just kind of, like, do what you gotta do to get by, but let's not keep fucking whoring around. Can you minimize the sexual partners? Can you minimize who you're fucking? And the, the problem is, is that the pedophiles that are coming out, and they want this to be a normal thing, are gay. Joe Rogan, you come from mafia. Um, Alex Cooper, I can only assume the same. Get your fucking mafias in order. I tell you what, right now, you guys have so many people following you. And Alex, or excuse me, Joe Rogan. 
You have turned so many people from God and you run almost the entire world, almost like Satan's brother. And it kind of had me weirded out for a minute. I was like, this man's almost as popular as Satan. You better seriously get your shit straight. Because God is fucking shit up at a rapid rate. Meaning, he's letting a bunch of shit get fucked up at a rapid rate. Because most of us deserve it. God is just, he's not sitting back per se. Someone say, oh, don't say that. No, he is. And he has done it before. So don't, you can go ahead. Don't Just say, I don't know what I'm fucking talking about. Creator God through Jesus Christ is literally letting stuff crumble right now. Hoping enough people get over to his team. I gotta go. Love you. Bye. So much more that I forgot about. We'll try the violin. I'm, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna have to get a lesson real quick. And I love you, but it was fun to try, right? And... I hope you know that you're a man or a woman. And if you were born weird, maybe they figured it out. I am not going to put up with this no more. I would have to say that that was from God. But um, someone will say, oh, she's saying God's speaking through her. You think that I, I mean, I care. But just me, myself, and I, I'm like, whatever, just like, I just want to get the garden and stuff going, you know what I mean? I just want to find out some truth about what's going on in the world. But do you think that I would say that like that? All right, well, <laughs> it's what it is, you know what I mean? We'll do it one more time. Because time is short. Shorter than ever. And you're like, oh, you're saying this to us. No, I ain't. No. We're going to do this right now real quick. I just have to get my chest... My heart rate, you know, and, um, it's going to be like this. I got saved around 19. Uh, things got a little wild here and there. Uh, but let me tell you this right now. God has been giving me direct messages since before 2009. I'm not looking for any praise. I don't even get no money. This is what I'm going to say to you right now. Right now. I think my hand's on, over the speaker. If you have denied God. No, really. No, really. If you have denied Creator God. And if you have denied Jesus Christ as our Savior. That things were so fucking fucked up back then compared to now, quite frankly, adding some technology, we ha we have a little bit more of a mess going on. And this is really getting along is if you deny Jesus Christ as your savior, who came in the flesh, who died for our sins. It does not mean work related. It does not mean this or that, it means you try to be better. You go to him and you say, you died for our sins because without you, Father, we would have to sacrifice animals just to get by each day to each day because half of us is from the sinner, the sinner, the, the Satan. And this is how God created up this world. We don't know why. We don't know why. But the thing is, is that we're almost 50-50. And we say, Jesus Christ, you died for our sins. You're going to help us at least be a little bit better than we were. And it's not even about the works. It's about, do you acknowledge Jesus Christ as creator God in the flesh? Joe Rogan, your family with your mafia, and all of you leading this shit astray, and the rest of you are still doing it to this day. I'm telling you right now, God is blowing the earth up. Do you know? He is allowing the world to be blown up. I'm not saying he's specifically doing it, but he's allowing it. And this is just preamble, preamble, preamble. This is nothing compared to when God fully unleashes his fury. 
I'm saying Lucifer and all of his demons and his followers of genocides and depopulation and control of speech and human freedom to grow few food and plant your own plants, grow your own animals to get meat. This is all disgusting and it's a world population thing through the devil because we are in the last days. No!